And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zedjwani Elusives. I think this is a really good deck and I think this is going to um, help out our losing streak that we have been on recently. Uh, you know, this is just, just regular old Elusives, the Kinku Elusives, but instead of playing Kiku Wayfinder, we're going with Fury of the North and Sejuani, giving us some more power with our two champions, Zed and Sejuani. Both of those cards are quite good. Um, and our, our Elusives are still just really good, and um, we can race some decks with them. Uh, yeah, this is not, not anything too new about this deck, but it's a deck that's old faithful, very reliable, and very consistent. So let's go ahead and, and play some games. It's like that a lot of people kind of forget about. Um, and with the, the power of the champions with Zed and Sejuani, uh, I think that does up the power level of the deck. All right, so our first game is going to be against Twisted Fate Swain. We're going to get rid of these two, and we'll keep those. Honestly, Green Glade Duo isn't like the best here against this kind of deck. Like this Bilgewater Noxus deck, they're going to be doing one damage a lot. And so honestly, maybe I should be mulliganing Green Glade Duo. Which is kind of weird. Will of Ionia is definitely not a card that I want. And that's why I mulliganed it away. It's not a card that I wanted at all. So don't love the additional two Will of Ionias. The cards that I do want to see are the cards that pump, or that give permanent buffs. Like, I want Omen Hawk. Um, I want Omen Hawk, I want Jewel Protector. I want that kind of stuff. Trading off the Green Glade duo that dies fairly easily. Okay, so I wouldn't I wouldn't just go straight to combat if I didn't draw this Elixir of Iron, but since I drew the Elixir of Iron, I can use that to help protect the uh, Life Blade. Deal me in. Yeah, we're on the ladder, Penguin. I go unseen. We are doing good at drawing our four mana spells. Am I playing you, Blade Scout? Am I playing Blade Scout to block rear guard? I think the answer is no. I can either block. Um. Leave them I can either Ready. go Fury of the North, block Swain, or just put Swain back in their hands. Lady Luck is smiling. All or nothing. Hmm. I sense fear. This will put me down to 15. We'll take take five afterwards. I thought about doing the same thing and blocking Twisted Fate, and then we would take uh, we would take nine and go to ten, and then we'd gain six. We'd actually go to 16 instead of 15. Um. 
But that does just help the... It does help the uh, Swain level up quite a bit. Oh, uh, that's not what I want to see at all. The two damage. turn. Good turn. Uh, yes, the ladder will reset. Uh, the end of August, whenever the next set comes out. I'll burn for what I've done. Ladder resets every two months. Bow to no one. It's really unfortunate the next turn, <clears throat> even though I'll have Windfair Hatchling, I won't have... Uh, I won't have... I'll have three mana, so I won't be able to play any of these cards still. That's pretty unfortunate. No, rank reward is icons. There's not really so there's not really much rank reward, but you get you get different icon. You know, you can get like the master's icon or the diamond icon or stuff like that. You get the icon at the top right. The game just gives out the rewards normally with the weekly vault and the um and also the the regular reward system. There's not a reward for ending rank at any specific region. Any specific place. I wish I had four mana. Really wish I had one more mana. We could fury the north. Yeah, this was this is the worst season so far. Um, yeah, with Noxus, Brahmanivia. Vimerdinger. This what this has been the worst season that they've had so far. But it's still not bad. Still enjoyable and everything. Yeah, I mean we're gonna have yeah every two months there's gonna be new cards entering. So that's gonna massively shake things up every two months. And then of course you're gonna have like the balance changes every month, and and they they even said in the the last patch that whenever the next balance, whenever the next patch comes out, um, either the 23rd or the 30th this this uh, month, one of those two, whenever it comes out, uh, you cannot escape that. Uh, both Noxus is going to be hit and Heimerdinger is going to be hit. Yeah, so I was one mana away from winning that game. That last turn. Only fools play the hand they're dealt. Stay safe. 
I'll take it from here. Yeah, potentially. Potentially should have uh, just block with the life blade and gain the two and then just bounce the shadows, the shadow assassin, you know, basically do the opposite of what I just did with the two blocks. Potentially. Trying to play around gold card and win through gold card is kind of tough. Eyes open. Yeah, this was this definitely. Yeah, this was a good draw. Fitting in mana wise. Is not even blocking with Twisted Fate? I love it they don't block with Twisted Fate. That'd make my life easier. And that's why I played the Life Blade um, pre combat, was because of Gold Card. Um, could definitely still pump up the jewel protector so it gets gold carded that's that's and that's a play that i am f fully aware of if that's uh something that can help these elusives finish the job we'll have to see So I'm, I'm hoping now we go Fury of the North on... Oh gosh, I still have six mana. Now we go Fury over here. And Gold Card still taking down the 7-3. Because now this is a 6-6. Six, six. Alright, got him. That was the play, you know, like go twin disciplines plus on the jewel protector to make the 5 2 lethal, and so then they had to use a removal spell on that, and then I got to go Fury of the North on the, the 6 6 and make that lethal, and so then they would have to have another removal spell for that. Worked out. Shadow Assassin, am I keeping you? Yes. GG's, yeah, that was a good play. That was a good play. Which would have drawn the Zed like right now? <laughs> Get that 4-3 Zed. That'd be nice. Um, 
so that's all good. All right, so yeah, so I, I like, like, that's a good spot for that Omen Hawk. We get to bank one mana for the Elixir of Iron, which is perfect. Um, Joke debate. Let's go... Yeah, let's just go Zed. Here. And then be able to go straight to combat. Brittle Seal's good. Hey, Cheezer Dude GG's. Just played against you? Yeah, good games. That was That was a real good game. Good finish there. Yeah, I had like whenever I played the seven mana thing, you know, and went to the attacks. Um, and you know, like you kill the seven mana thing to stay alive. That turn, I had three extra mana with the seven mana thing, and my hand was three, four mana spells. And <laughs> that was sad. Um, but yeah, I got to use those later on, thankfully. My five. About to take some damage. That's a decent draw. Winter take you. It's a decent draw. Swiftly now. Leaping into action. This thing stays a 5 5 though. I guess that's that's how that works. Yeah, we could use that on elusive to level up Zed. I, I'm gonna try to take out Ash with it. And then just you know be able to replay an Omen Hawk. So we got two lines for this turn. We can go um, seven power of elusives. And combine with these to go nine, or or I could go Sedjuani and kill this five five and just have a Sedjuani in play. It's probably better to go all these elusives. And then I'll I'll attack and have Elixir of Iron still after the attack, and then you know play Omen Hawk post combat. I will play my part. Ugh. These brittle steels are killing me. Nice, night word, you're almost there. That is pretty cool though, yeah, they're not able to frostbite. Um Not able to frostbite the um, 
victory requires a sharp blade. Yuck. Face me. So, okay. Uh, anyway, the the Zed, the living shadow that's coming in, they couldn't frostbite that. All right. So I want to, I frostbite the tri the reckless Trifarian because I wanted to, you know, basically not let them really attack with this thing because it can't block anyway. Where like if they would, if they would have just gone to attacks and would have pumped up the enraged Yeti, I would just trade Sejuani for enraged Yeti, um, and you know trade here and we would be fine. Um, and then they would have, they'd have no blockers on the ground and everything too, but. So that's how it goes. <clears throat> okay, and they are at five. We should be good. You earn the right to call themselves Trifarian. Wanna wanna make sure we can win through uh, harsh winds. So get get you know, not just go straight to attacks because they like harsh winds or brittle steel or whatever. Wanna win through that to so play a couple more elusives. And there we go, GG's. Yeah, I suppose reckoning would have been that would have been the problem. I was thinking you know, I was wanting to play around harsh winds, which worked out because that's what they had was harsh winds. But yeah, if they had reckoning, uh that would have been uh, that would have been sad. <laughs> yeah. That would have been sad. All right, two and O. Oh. Definitely close games. They're not super easy games. Um, this is probably like the the keg control, and we talked about we played keg control yesterday. We talked about how the kind of deck that we're about to play is like the, the best deck to face for a keg control deck. Um, so I'm expecting this to be a really difficult matchup, and I want Omen Hawk really bad. I feel like Green Glade Duo dies super easily. I really want Omen Hawk to pair with this Conspirator. Yuck. Yuck. Those were not. Yeah, I, I just want Omen Hawk. I don't mulligan Green Glade Duo that often, but yeah, four mana two twos. This is this is the one matchup where I don't want Green Glade Duo and I don't want Kinku Life Blade. Like these are two. These are my worst two things to draw. And so that was like units. That is, you know, not just spells, but units. These are these are the worst two, two units in the deck. Well, that was a mistake. When you're playing this deck, you should let let your opponent attack first, and then you play Dreadway Deckhand post combat. Good. That's that's the card we want. We want that kind of card. And again, I'm I'm trading I'm trading my two one I'm trading my two one before it just dies to a withering whale or you know part of a mega rain or anything like that. Step like that. Uh, we're in diamond. This is why I don't want two twos. All that glitters. Probably gonna lose this one though. I don't know. I like the Sejuani. We've, our last two draws have been good. Jewel Protector, Sejuani. Those are good. We're not. We're not out of this yet. We need more beef. 
Oh yeah, yeah, we've always been masters. Hey Krabby! That's my resting face. Yeah, I, this has been the longest that I've played before Masters, but I I don't I don't do like the whole like just rank up with one thing. I play a, a wide variety of decks every single day. I play four different decks, and so it's not that's not the that's not the most efficient way to level up. Hmm. So I don't level up efficiently. Yeah, <laughs> donation. Yeah, play a lot of donation decks. But it's okay. It's I focus more on on learning and uh, and teaching, and you know having y'all learn. Um, and you know, focusing on on that and, and finding different interactions, finding new cards to play, all that kind of stuff. Full speed ahead. I'll blow up the pieces. Get the claw. So much damage. Bring me chaos. Colby, that's not acceptable. Stay safe. I'll take it from here. Please do not use language like that. Next turn, we're going to have eight mana, not nine. I want to have, like, I can't, like, this is just kind of awkward. I want to play Jewel Protector pumping up Life Blade. Um, but I don't, I don't get to, no matter what I do, I don't get to go uh, Jewel Protector pump up Life Blade. And so that's pretty awkward. Um, that's the thing that I want to do. I don't really see a reason to pump Zed. I mean, we we can, I guess, because I can actually play Zed this next turn. Um, but I I'm at seven. Like that's I'm at seven. They got a whole lot of things here. That's that's what we got to be worried about more than being aggressive, because my my life total goes down very quickly. Um, and so I'm I'm much more worried about that. They cannot strike what they cannot see. The Fury, Fury of the North's not too bad. We can uh, play Fury of the North with this elusive here. So yeah, we'll we'll probably just be pumping up the Zed after you know afterwards. But I I'm more focused on stabilizing currently. Um, but yeah, I think I think this is the worst matchup you can have for the for being the elusive deck. Yeah, this is definitely the worst matchup you can have. Let's go with. Let's just 
just go with that. Walk softly, strike quickly. You cannot escape. Where are you going? Nowhere. So at least we gain six life again. Back to 13. Took out a Withering Will and a Grasp. Yeah, we, we played this deck. We played uh, the K Control yesterday, and definitely that's what we talked about was what you want to face is elusives. You'll exactly what you want to face. But this is still a large Zed. We're we're back to you know having a more stable life total. Leave no survivors. I think I want to keep twin disciplines to protect Zed. I think that's what I want to do is protect Zed. Um I would let Sejuani die. Yeah, but I think that's just how life is. Built a mono Freljor deck. Very nice. But yeah, yep. Thanks, Agent Iowa. Yeah, so for donation decks for me to... Yeah, I'll play the decks on, on stream and everything and... Cost either just $10... Or 10,000 channel points. Is what I play the donation decks to the for. There's plenty of killing left. No, yeah, I've I've done I've done eight labs and I haven't seen anybody play an unyielding spirit potato. So I think you just had uh, a bad sample of playing against unyielding spirit twice in the labs in three games. So I haven't seen that card at all. I think it's just kind of lucky there. I should just do this pre combat. Their deck's filled with spells. I don't really see a reason not to. Yeah, Fiora alone next. Admittedly, I'm not sure how Fiora alone will be in this meta game. We're gonna just play it. It's a fun deck to play. Not always about playing the best stuff, it's about playing fun stuff. Yeah, they stole two of my Shadow Assassins. To go along with this Twisted Fate. I have many that's like my that's like my best card is Shadow Assassin for the, the card advantage to try to keep up. They keep stealing my Shadow Assassins. That's not lucky. Thing. I'm priced into using this will this will of Ionia on that twisted fate. Uh, because otherwise that it would level up and 
that'd be tough to deal with with the leveled up. The problem is they can just get another powder keg and then go red card and annihilate all of these things. And that's a powder keg. That's the real problem with bouncing that. Maybe we draw deny? Nope. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Correct, yeah. Fiora it's Fiora with Freljord. For Fiora alone. Definitely the worst matchup, and my mulligan was really bad of the drawing... Uh, all three cards that we mulliganed into were the, the two worst units in our deck, Green Glade Duo and Kinku Lifeblade. And then my opponent stole multiple of my Shadow Assassins, my best unit. So, bad matchup, bad variance, means we lost. Alright, Sejuani Misfortune. I think I may mulligan one Shadow Assassin. It's a really good card, but 2-2 two -two body against... Um, against all the stuff that, uh, you know, Misfortune, Sejuani, all the pressure that they put on us. I don't think I can afford to just have a bunch of 2-2 two -two bodies. Rather than get that parlayed than at Green Glade Duo. So the problem with playing Green Glade Duo right now is Hired Gun. That's the big this this is the big problem with if I just cast Green Glade Duo. What do y'all think? Do I risk it? Um because you know if they don't have Hired Gun, obviously I want to play it. But if they have Hired Gun, I just just threw it away for nothing. Because Sejuani is super powerful. That's why we're playing Sejuani. Finishes games. Yeah, I just want. I think I just want to pass. I think it's too risky. Sejuani has the overwhelm to finish games out. Fortune yeah. favors the bold. The great removal spell and everything too. Really good card. The ocean whispers her secrets. I'm gonna bounce misfortune. And then play Green Glade Duo. Be interesting to see if they attack. This is our way. Hmm. So probably make it rain. It's the most likely thing. Most likely reason to attack is make it rain. I'm certainly not blocking the 2-4. Do I still block the 1-2 even though it looks like they most likely have Make It Rain? I think so. Wonder if I should just do Fury of the North before attacking, so I attack with two eight power things. So when they cast make it rain right here. Goodbye. 
we're gonna do that. You've made your path. Pumps Zed back up, you know, that heals Zed and gets a lot of damage in. I'll hunt them where they breed. Now we'll go Jewel Protector on Sejuani. Hmm. Or not, or I just save Zed. Elixir Vine would have been my best draw. No pray, no pay. Cause the problem, uh, maybe this was a bad idea. Save Zed, cause I guess they get to attack twice, and so they can kill Zed. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I guess we get to save Zed. They could have just challenged Zed with the Razor Scale Hunter first in the scout attack, and then attack again. That's what I think they probably should have done to get two misfortune levels up. Bow to no one. No, I sh I should be going. Th I should be challenging them the Nimble Poro, shouldn't I? Nimble Poro lets me overwhelm four damage and then add up with... Yeah, that that's me. I did that too quickly. I usually have done that correctly. I've played this deck a lot and I've usually done that correctly. That was me just doing that too fast. I sh should have done the Nimble Poro and then challenge there for the four damage and then the two and have the lethal. Yeah, that's my bad. So I don't want... If, if their card is Fury of the North, I would rather them Fury of the North here, which doesn't kill Sejuani, than, Fury the, than if I go Zed, challenge Misfortune, and they Fury of the North, that kills Zed. Game's not over yet. It should be. Should have challenged the Poro. So giving him a chance. Because they could have their own large Sejuani. Like if they have like Sejuani Fury of the North, that could just kill me. Life gain card. All right, geez. <laughs> this is a close game. Good game. And we're three and one. Another Ash Sejuani deck. Haven't played against Noxus in a long time. Surprisingly enough. 
Omen Hawk. No, not that Omen Hawk. <laughs> we didn't have turn one Omen Hawk any of the five games, did we? I don't think so. It is our best card. Did we maybe like the first one? We did in one, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I think we did that first game, didn't we? Yep, we did. Yeah, that's right. And then it buffed itself, and then we went uh, Omen Hawk on turn two also with the 2-2. Two -two. That's right, yep. Yeah, that game. Oh, man, I, I wasted all my Omen Hawks in that one game. Four to the hand. For the hand. The Yordle here's with me. Playing Zed would mean Playing Zed last turn would mean I could go straight to combat and they you know wouldn't have a very good blocker for Zed. This is the line that gives me the most damage with green glade duos. And now we either do 10 elusive damage by playing the blade scout, or I keep twin disciplines available to protect Zed and attack, you know, be able to attack with Zed. Winter, take you. Okay, well, that will answer that question. We'll just do 10 damage. Kordak, I started playing ranked today. Feels like a walk in the park. Went 5-0, the Lucian overall in deck, and played three games before <laughs> thinking those were ranks. Yeah, yeah, the beginning the beginning part of yeah, if you just started playing ranked, the beginning part of ranked is definitely very easy. It's a lot of it's, you know, mostly beginner decks at the beginning part of ranked. Um So yeah, like you'll you know, you'll definitely do good with that now. Yes, I could have gone Twin Disciplines on the Zed and then attacked with the Zed as well. Um, good thing I didn't. They would have and striked it. I liked just getting 10 elusive damage. So definitely really glad we didn't do the Twin Disciplines. Then would have just been and striked. I can use some protection here. Next turn, I can either Sejuani to help finish him off or just have the Fury of the Norths. Um. We do have to worry about Harsh Winds, my next attack step. It's a card I need to be worried about. I don't know if there's a great way to play around Harsh Winds. I can put them to- if they have Harsh Winds, I put them to two. Um, uh, 
Yeah, so maybe go Sejuani plus Twins. Twin Disciplines. Yeah, either, no matter what, I put them to two if they have, um, if they have Harsh Wind. So it's not going to be lethal. So maybe I just challenge that thing. It's not going to be lethal. So I could just kill a 5-4. To no one. Well, see us coming. it's not ideal. Um, bring me chaos. I don't think I go for the win. Is how brutal brittle steel would be using three mana like that. And yeah, it looks like they have spells. So if they go, if they go like culling strike, we win. Definitely look like they have spells. But I don't like playing like basically if I play the twin disciplines, then I only have seven mana this next turn, and seven mana is super awkward uh, blocking wise and everything. So I like having, uh, really like having the Double Fury of the North instead. You know, basically if I go Twin Disciplines and they Brittle Steel, I feel like that's how I could lose. Um, but here I don't think we're going to lose. Face me, coward! Only the finest serve. Yeah, or they, yes, yeah, so they could have had Flash Freeze or Brittle Steel or Culling Strike. You know, if they, if they did have Culling Strike, could have had any of those. And um, stayed alive, and then I would have been in trouble. At least I feel like I would have been in trouble. Leave no survivors. Fight like the animal you are! Hold up! Where are you going? I think we're good. I'm. I'm. A, I don't want to go another Fury of the North because I'm worried about harsh winds. I think I should have this the next turn with having triple pump spell uh, against removal spells for them. But, uh, that means I only get two pump spells. We don't have to worry about Brittle Steel. Uh, do I want to just play, spend four mana playing these things? 
I guess then I would not have the two pump spells still. Let's just attack. Yeah, they need to have like three freezes. Which isn't very likely. This will be quick. And none of them can be brittle steel. Because brittle, you know, brittle steel won't work with the four health. Alright, GG's. So yeah, keg control, that's going to be a tough matchup. I'll admit that. But besides that, uh, this deck's really good. You play a lot of close games, as we saw with those games. They're not necessarily the easiest games to win. Um, but yeah, we had lots lots of close games and everything. Uh, but I, I do think that this deck is still just good, and, and um, I like the power that both Zed and Sejuani bring. You know, sometimes you just have your turn three Zed when you're attacking. They can just take over the games. You know, maybe like an Elixir of Iron to protect it. Um, you know, maybe it's a, you know, maybe you get real lucky with like the Omen Hawk that turns the Zed into a 4-3. You know, like you, you can just steal games with Zed like that. And then and then also just other games like where, where you're struggling getting the last points of damage in. Sejuani really helps out with that. You know, usually you should be challenging like the 1-1. One, one. I, I messed that up that game four. I messed that up. But usually you... Uh, just challenge the 1-1 one, one and, um, you know, attack and get the overwhelm damage in. Sejuani is even better with, like, the Jewel Protector makes Sejuani even better. You know, like, a lot of times you'll have Jewel Protector give the plus 3, plus 3 to Sejuani, and now you have an 8-9, or sometimes, you know, 9-10 if you had an Omen Hawk. We'll make that card even better. And we saw Fury of the North just be an awesome spell. Whether it was keeping our Elusives alive and doing a lot of damage, or like keeping the Sejuani alive. Fury of the North is just a really good quality spell. Um, you know, like this thing's just so efficient. And uh, real good. So, that's it. That's our that's our Sejuani Elusives. And sometimes, you know, you go Protector, pump up the Life Blade, and you got a 5-5 five, five Lifesteal Elusive that uh, people can't block and that can help you race as well. Good deck. Uh, no, I no, I think Jewel Protector is going to be better than Avaros and Hearth Guard, um, because you don't you don't necessarily draw a ton of cards in the deck, and so I think that just getting getting the plus three plus three immediately on something in your hand is going to be better than plus one plus one through some other stuff because you'd have to draw, you know, you'd have to draw four cards to get like this plus one plus one to be more. Of course, that is a five five to a four four, so I guess if you do it like that but um plus getting plus three plus three on the same thing making one thing huge like that is is pretty awesome you know sometimes you make that like a six five zed um you know put it on the the blade scout so you can double spell with like a big blade scout with something else you put it on uh conspirator and then you pick the jewel protector back up and then you jewel protector something else no i think i think this is better with the plus three plus three than with the hearth guard yeah, and then the real combo is the plus three plus three to the life blade. That's kind of the real the real combo going on there. Um, you could play two if you're a big fan of Windfair Hatchling. You can definitely do two Windfair Hatchling, two Sejuani. I've been real happy with Sejuani's, and I've just been playing three Sejuani. But this could be a two two split if that's something that you feel like doing, or maybe if you don't have another champion wild card for Sejuani, you can do a two two split there uh, just fine. Because there, <clears throat> there's definitely times where Hatchling's better than Sejuani. Um, you know, like, there's situations where that, that is the case, so. Nothing wrong with the 2-2 two -two split there. All right, there we go. That's Zejuani Elusives. Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, feel free to leave that comment as well. But, anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.